Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now about six months ago or so we took a look at the power cube which is right over here on my desk and also at the power bar which is under my desk and I'll show you in just a few seconds right over here uh, two very cool gadgets to allow me to connect uh, uh, plenty of devices that I do use here on the office uh, but today we are going to take a look at uh, something different. By the way if you want to take a look uh, a closer look at the power cube and the power bar I will try not to forget to post a link somewhere here just in case you want to check that out now today we are going to take as i was saying a look at the power cube but with extended remote uh, functionalities which is uh, something that i've got on my hands and that being said guys with no further ado let's go straight for the video And we are back. So as I was saying guys, we are going to take a look or a closer look at the Power Cube uh, extended remote. And let's start with, as usual, <laughs> with the unboxing. So there's not much that I can say, but once we open the package, uh, we will find the quick, uh, quick user guides uh, with clear instructions, by the way, I must say. Uh, we will also find a stand and the sticker so that we can mount the cube. And I've done this six months ago uh, with my Power Cube right over here and had no issues at all so far. Uh, uh, we will also find the power cube remote extended or extended remote uh, which in this particular case has a local on and off uh, button and four uh, power outlets now if you if you take a look and i'll remove this cases from here if you take a look at this one here uh, it's actually powered by another power cube right over here and if i press the button i've got uh, something connected here which is my leds uh, if i press the button i will turn on and off everything that I've got connected to this particular power cube and we will talk about the wireless functionality uh, or I will show a little bit that better the uh, wireless functionality but I will sh um, share with you right now uh, to have the wireless uh, command we will need this uh, piece of hardware which is a remote um, which is the only way to get a wireless function. Uh, this is sold on its own. It's not part of the package. And one of the curious things that I found on this remote uh, was that it doesn't need any battery. But we will see in just a few seconds uh, about the setup and so on and so forth. So uh, right now I've got uh, the, this sets up here, the power cube extended remote and of course the remote sold uh, separate. And I've got another power cube uh, that I'll show in just a few seconds. Now in terms of setup, it's really Easy, guys now all we need to do uh, is to place the stickers on the stand and place it anywhere we like and I've showed this about six months ago once again uh, in my particular case I've been using uh, the power cube um, for a long time well six months on my desk and never had any issues as I said before then we need to connect the power cube and that is it nothing else to do uh, we can then connect any device and we can turn on as I was sh showing turn on or off uh, with the press of a button and I'm sure that I'm showing some images of the test that I that I've done with the iPad and a lamp which was something that I did uh, test out here on the uh, office now as I was saying before as well if we want to use uh, the power remote then we can uh, attach to any surface now um, this is not the same stickers that we see uh, or we've seen on the um, stand this is a different kind of stickers um, it needs to be a, a clean surface uh, and in this particular case I did um, use my um, my desk I was really curious to see because they they mentioned on the uh, advertisement that it will uh, um, be used more than once so what I did uh, I did glue to my my desk and I can say that one of the things that I can say is that it's really hard uh, to remove but once I removed with a, with a lot of pressure I could not place it back again uh, because the stickers were a bit uh, worn out so uh, I went to the user guide and um, there is a little trick which is to wipe with a cloth and with a little bit of water and bam <laughs> after that I could place it uh, once again as it was new and which is really nice because if I, if I place it um, on any 
um, surface and then I don't know one month or one week or one day later I say okay this is not the right uh, position to to use it I would like to have it uh, somewhere else I can just remove it clean it with a cloth with a little bit of water and then place it uh, somewhere that I do like now to set this up it's also uh, easy all we need to do uh, is to press the power cube for about five seconds or so and it will show a light blinking which means that it wants to pair with something uh, and right then we will need to press um, the button on the remote and that is it um, I did uh, do some or, or I did or I went ahead with some, some tests as usual uh, and I can say that we, it works about five to seven meters away uh, from the power cube I did went to my living room and I pressed the button to turn on and off and it worked fine but if I went to the end of my living room there was no signal so uh, this is uh, in my opinion of course this is intended to uh, work in the same room or um, in an adjacent uh, room to this one. So don't get crazy to think that you will press the button here and on your neighbor's house um, you will get it working. Now, about five, seven meters away at least, this is the experience that I had uh, so far with this. And that is it, guys. There's not much more that I can say to you, but I would like to uh, give you um, or uh, <laughs> show you something uh, interesting here because I did set up this one with my LEDs as I said in the beginning of the video and also I've got uh, this one paired with another power uh, cube and connecting two of my lights for those for those of you that know my office uh, you know how I've got things arranged here for those that don't I'll post on the uh, YouTube cards a link there so you can take a look and sh see how I've got things organized uh, but really quickly I've got one light over here uh, Amaron aperture um, lightening a little bit of my face and I'm gonna turn that off just for a little bit a uh, little bit <laughs> and I want to show you that if I press this button right now I will turn off, and sorry about the darkness, but I will turn off uh, my softbox here and also my ceiling lights because at this moment they are connected to a power um, cube and I also turn off my uh, LEDs. Now if I press the button again, uh, everything will turn on except my Amaron, which I will turn it off uh, for this part of the video. Um, but I want to show you something else. Now if I turn off my LEDs, uh, which is something that we can, and of course every single one of us will have different ideas, but this, <laughs> this is one of the things that I like on these uh, gadgets that uh, every single one of us will have uh, different things to do with it. So you can imagine what happened now because this is still um, synchronized with both power cubes so if I press the button lights will go off and the LEDs <laughs> will go up which means that we can have uh, two different environments and you can see how this is and let me turn everything on once again uh, you can see how this can be uh, really interesting if we have different sets of lights on our living room kitchen bedroom and so on and so forth and with the press of a button we will have two uh, different environments and, and things like that I don't know <laughs> this was just a crazy idea so that I could uh, show you a little bit more of the um, I don't know, of the freedom that we have with a simple uh, device such as this. And that is it, guys. I'm going to shut up for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. Uh, my name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.